This is the solution to written homework 38. Okay, solve by completing the square. Okay. So we'll group together everything with x. So x minus 16x plus 5 equal to 0. So x squared minus 16x. And half of 16 is 8. Squared is 64. So add 64. Subtract 64. So those first three terms now become the square x minus 8 squared, and then minus 64 plus 5 equals 0. Negative 64 plus 5 is negative 59, but move it to the other side, and you get x minus 8 squared is 59. <coughs> So now there's two possibilities. We want something to square to become 59. So what's in here must be the square root of 59 or negative square root of 59, <coughs> which is to say that it splits into two. So two possibilities. <coughs> X minus eight is negative square root of 59 or x minus 8 is the square root of 59. So x is 8 minus the square root of 59, or x is 8 plus the square root of 59. <coughs> For this one, again, we need to collect, except now we're using w's. So that'd be 3 w squared minus 18 w, and then plus 1 equal to 0. Now I'll factor out the 3 so that we have w squared minus 6 w plus 1 equal to 0. So now this polynomial inside the square parentheses is monic, which is what we need to do to do our complete the square trick. So this would be w squared minus 6w, and then half of 6 is 3 squared is 9, so plus 9 and minus 9 plus 1 equals 0. <coughs> so 3 and then w minus 3 squared. 9 plus 1 0. <coughs> so that would be 3w minus 3 squared minus 27 plus 1 equal to 0. So 3w minus 3 squared and then equal to 26. So that would be w minus 3 squared equal to 26 over 3. So we want something that squares to be 26 over 3. So this splits into 2. One of the possibilities is that w minus 3 is negative square root 26 over 3. The other possibility is that w minus 3 is positive square root 26 over 3. <coughs> and then solving w is 3 minus the square root of 26 over 3, or w is 3 plus the square root of 26.